Yeah, I'm really, really proud of our, our guys' toughness and resilience um, tonight. We, uh, we obviously got uh, Denver's best tonight with, uh, with 23s, and, and they, didn't, they didn't quit. I mean, you know, multiple times we were starting to pull away, and Denver just came back and back and back. And, uh, you know, it's no surprise to me. They're very well coached. Um, they, uh, they shoot the ball extremely well. Um, we've had success in the past with, with our zone against them. Um, we were able to pull out a win, we, uh, but, but they, they really did a nice job attacking it tonight and getting some looks. Um, but, but really, really proud of the guys in terms of being able to have next play mentality today. I mean, three after three after three that Denver made um, for us to come down, not hang our heads and play next, next play mentality. We obviously played well on the offensive end, shooting you know, 67% from three, 63 from two. And uh, you know, just a, a, another great effort from a bunch of guys on, uh, on our roster. Yeah, and, and we actually we ran out of timeouts down the stretch there too. Um, our guys did have uh, you know, your question, Greg, for the people who are watching is, you know, after they drained a number of threes, I guess six threes in the final uh, minute and a half, 49 seconds. Um, you know, the nice part is we built a lead, so there was a little bit of cushion, but our guys did step up and uh, and towed, towed the line and knocked down their free throws, which was which was huge. I mean, we, we kept it, we kept you know putting it back to a three possession game. Which is which is really really big for us and and you know and we had multiple guys step up to the line um, and, and and that's big as well. We didn't turn the ball over. We met our passes. You know it's the fundamentals that we work on. You know every single day that 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 help you when you know they're doing different switching down the stretch um, as you're getting the ball inbounded, um, different things like that to where we just execute, meet to pass, and uh, and they foul stepped up and knocked down shots. Yeah, I mean, honestly, a bunch of our guys are playing with that kind of confidence. I mean, you talk about Max, but I mean, so is Michael Calder. Um, you know, and I didn't, I mean, when I was doing the radio show, they, they mentioned that, you know, his line at halftime, and, it, you know, that didn't stick in my mind from halftime. Um, but, but he, you know, I think he, he, he scored the majority of his points in the second half. But, you know, he's, he's playing at a high level and very confident, and so is, so is Max. I mean, so is, you know, John Concha. I mean, go down the line, our guys, I mean, D'Angelo's hitting free throws, big time free throws down the stretch. He's playing at a high level. I mean, I could go all the way down the line with our guys of, of the confidence they're playing with. But, uh, you know, uh, obviously Max, um, you know, uh, his range is limitless. Our guys believe in him. Um, and, and, you know, I mean, uh, you know what I get frustrated with, sometimes our guys don't go rebound when he shoots the ball. They just start running back on defense. I started noticing that on, on video. And uh, I don't want to crush his confidence. He's shooting the ball really well, but we still need the offensive rebound. But uh, really pleased with the entire team effort tonight. Just unselfish play across the board. Again, you know, of our 28 baskets, 14 assisted baskets, you know. And Max, we make a big deal of Max scoring some points, but he had seven assists. I mean, he's continuing to make our teammates better. Everybody on this squad is making their teammates better. <laughs>